What's up guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. I'm your boy Zawoki and we are looking at Black Friday GameStop version because guys, this was even worse than the launch itself for the Xbox and PlayStation 5. So guys, grab a chair, grab some popcorn as we take a look at my experience, my buddy's experience, and others for Black Friday and how it was even bigger of a disaster. But are we really surprised? Let's take a look. If you guys are new to my Zawoki channel and this is your first video or if this is your 105th video, make sure you guys are subscribed down below by hitting that red bar icon down below. It definitely helps out my channel and growth. Also, it's free. It's easy. There's so much on, on this channel. Why not? It's awesome. And we're just booming with this this uh, group and fans and friends and stuff like that. So why not subscribe, comment, and like. I love reading you guys' comments. I love reading you guys' theories when it comes to Fortnite and Modern Warfare and Funko, new Funkos coming out. There's Funkos that just came out today that I had no idea about, but there's so much that's on this channel and why not, it's free. So, with that being said, GameStop had their release this morning, obviously also um, Best Buy and Target and so forth online, but GameStop, it was the only one that actually had them where you could go and buy them in person. Where we thought from launch that it was going to be a little bit better, if not the same, because obviously some of these GameStops only had, when I went, they only had six, and I was number seventh. I had a buddy that went this morning, or not this morning, but was camping out pretty much since, I think he said 9.30 to 10 o'clock. They didn't put anything on the door like some of the GameStops did. Not all of them did that, which was stupid. They should have done it so people didn't waste their time when they could be sitting at home enjoying time with the friends and family yes there's gonna be people in the comments that say oh you guys suck you guys didn't get one you should prepare for this i've seen this in a couple of my other videos when it comes to this it has no part in participation with researching and being better it's being luck to be honest it is luck that it's like winning the powerball you 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 put in your money you hope for that you're gonna get this system or the ticket and you find out that you don't, that's pretty much what it is. It's it's a luck of the draw. That's what it is. It has no research capabilities. There's no, I'm talking about the bots and stuff like that. But even when you're in store, some of these GameStop and these GameStop employees, Best Buy employees, somebody commented on one of my videos, They the, the employees themselves are buying these consoles and then they're flipping them because they know they can get their hands on it easy peasy like that. And then because some of these GameStops probably have 10 consoles, but the actual stores themselves will buy them, the, the employees, the managers, the, the employees or whatever, and then they'll sell them and say, oh, we only got two when they actually got 10. GameStop doesn't care that they've seen that, oh yeah, we've sold our consoles, but it went to the manager it went to the employee. It went to the shift leader. Oh, we sold two to actual customers, but the manager's making out like a bandit. So the way I'm seeing this is a lot of people are doing this. They're camping outside. They want that Xbox for Christmas. They want it for just their pleasure to... I mean, we all use gaming as a way of release and excitement and just to get away from the real world. And with the real world right now and having all these problems with COVID and people raiding houses and stealing. And I mean, games are a great way to get away from that. Yes, there's a lot of us that game way too much. But still, these guys are doing this because they want to enjoy it. It's not... I couldn't see a scalper sitting outside like this. I mean, if he's down or i mean if he's really <laughs> wanting to sell these i don't the scalpers and the bots are the ones that bots are the ones that buy them online but scalpers are the ones that buy them online they don't take hard work to get them these are the true gamers that i once have have done where i've sat outside in tents on i wouldn't say blow up mattresses but i've sat outside on chairs and fallen asleep and waited for the new 360 or the xbox one i remember when i was in washington sitting outside a gamestop the whole night for an xbox one the original brick one i mean it's fun but at the same time you really have to do your dedication to stand in front of these doors but when gamestop only has 
two of them in stock for an PlayStation 5 and then six of the Xbox Ones or the Xbox Series Xs and you have a population of possibly in my t my city that's 30 minutes away of almost 200,000 people in the surrounding area and you only have two to six? That's ridiculous. I mean, I understand that there was not enough possible chances to make more because of COVID and the shortening of possibilities. But like I said in my other videos, you could have looked at the past and recent years of the Xbox original, the Xbox 360, the Xbox 360 Slim, the Xbox One, the Xbox One X, all those ones that released, I mean, even PlayStation, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4. I mean, you guys could have looked at all the past history, and this is not just the retailer's fault, it's also the company that makes these, Sony's. Sony, Microsoft, not Sony, Sony's, Microsoft, Sony, they are, there's a supply and then there's the demand. The supply was not there. The supply is like right here. The demand is up here. And yet they don't have the information to figure out to bring the supply to the demand. And these big million dollar companies can't figure that out. I call BS, to be honest. And that some of these GameStops say, oh, we only have two, we only have six. Because the employees, I guarantee it, not all of them, there are some true, honest, faithful um, people out there when it comes to consoles. And maybe the GameStops only got a couple of them. But the big corporation or the CEO of GameStop, once you want to have to say, hey, we're possibly losing business yes they've been parker partnered with microsoft but i mean still if you're knowing that your business is falling and yet they've been falling for quite a while i think and some people have said that too you would think you would have more walmart did not do much better when it came to uh their release on wednesday i post a video down about that i won't talk much more about walmart but it was a disaster gamestop is a disaster are we surprised? No. Best Buy, Target, I'm not even going to get make a video about that because it's it's a disaster too. But I wanted to make a video about GameStop because it was an actual in-purchase where you had to go to the store and actually purchase it there. Best Buy, Target, completely sold out within seconds and minutes. The scalpers and bots got them before anybody could even get in there. There are some people that were lucky enough to be on the apps. Apparently, the apps work a lot better than websites which is kind of shocking um because my computer is hardwired and i have 300 megs and i'm able to get things within seconds if not milliseconds but like even one guy posted on my my comments that it was with it was even faster than milliseconds i mean i i understand when it comes to the holidays and people want their demand and the people on my ch comments have said well if people didn't want these so much People want these right now because they have much, not much to do at home. Yes, there's time to spend with family. There's time to spend with your loved ones and stuff like that. But you can't be up their butts 24-7 and playing games and uh, cuddling and stuff like that. And gaming is our way for girls, boys, adults, kids, teenagers to break away from the real world and just not worry about anything else but that. Yes, there's our people out there that pretty much don't care about gaming. They think it's a waste of time. They think it's a waste of money. But the, but there's other things out there that we think, as gamers, that are a waste of money as well. But we can't look at that. And that's why people say in my comments, which I still, please comment, positive or negative. But to keep it as positive as you can. Please do not cuss in my comments. Because I've seen a lot of people that have cussed and are literally swearing at each other. And it's not needed. And it's just, people are saying, well, if the demand wasn't there, they wouldn't have to worry about selling so many. That's like saying, if people didn't want Apple products, we would sell, we would sell less and there would be more. That's true, but you can't honestly put something out there that looks fantastic and looks amazing and not expect people not to want it and buy it and willing to buy from these scalpers I mean, I bought one a little bit higher than I normally wanted to, yes. But I was not going to fork out almost 1000 to twelve to $2,000. If you guys even look at the 
the place or if you guys look at Xbox right now, looking on here right now, twelve hundred dollars, fourteen hundred dollars. I mean, this is ridiculous. Seven hundred dollars, that's not bad. Two hundred dollars more, that's not that's not scalping. Scalping is like double, if not triple. I mean, I the person I bought from, yes, people are like, oh, he probably gave you a sob story, or whatever, but literally his nephew was there his nephew was like nine he was like 30 like myself and yet the little guy told me he, i mean what i mean nine year old kids are gonna lie yes but he said he wanted a playstation that's why i got the xbox from him because and i mean he could have taken a lot more money away from me but yet he didn't but looking at these prices, I mean, if you guys are looking for Xboxes or PlayStations, the best one to look at for actual lower than normal cost, or I would say lower, normal cost, because normal cost is $500. But looking at lower than the norm for the scalpers and bots, like I'm looking at some here. I mean, look, if you guys can look on here, I mean, I've seen $750. That's not entirely bad. Yes, it's $250 more. But it's still not as bad as like the 13, the 14, the 12, the thousand dollars. Yes, that's unfortunate and very upsetting. But there are some in here. I mean, there's one at where is that one? Five hundred dollars. Um, he says he's not trying to scalp. He just didn't. Just, he just decided to go with PlayStation. It says on there, I am selling it for five hundred or five hundred and fifty. One guy just bought it that I commented in my comments in his area. And got it for five hundred dollars, because the guy didn't want it anymore. He's not scalping. There are onesies and twosies that are out there that actually are trying to, like me. I was trying to buy a couple and sell them to my people that were on. I've, I've literally had people on my Instagram texting me saying, "Zwoki, help me, please help me." I've literally helped at least five to six people actually get Xboxes and not pay more than almost $200, if not the $500. One guy got one for 550. One guy got one for 600. The other one got one for 725. I mean, it's possible, it's very hard, but please know that you guys can possibly get one still, even though that these scalpers have taken them all away. Because I wanna help you guys for Christmas if the, the ladies out there are trying to get one for their husbands or the boyfriends or the boyfriends are trying to get ones out there for their lady or their, their, their ladies because women do game nowadays so guys it's not just a gaming guy gaming world it's a women's too so with that being said GameStop if you guys are watching this video who knows if you guys do step up your game this is ridiculous when it comes to the quantity that you are getting in your stores two to six is not acceptable for a population that is I mean, my my buddy was there in Rochester today from nine o'clock, nine thirty last night till this morning. They never posted anything on the door. He would have never waited. He get or the, they open up the door at seven o'clock. Thankfully, it's not ten o'clock like it was when it was the launch day. But pretty much at six o'clock that morning, they come outside the door and they sat there and said, "We only have two Xboxes and three Playstations." He was there for the Xbox. He was number three ridiculous ridiculous and stupid i just don't get it comment down below what you guys think about this black friday um 2020 when it comes to gamestop walmart anything what have you mostly gamestop i don't want to piss off gamestop gamestop does have their good things about them when it comes to funko pops collectibles and stuff like that but they need to step up their game when it comes to releases like this or games in the future because if you guys keep doing it this way you guys are going to lose business and you guys will not make it for the next five, three to five years i guarantee it these bigger corporations walmart best buy target will eat you up and gamestop will close i'm surprised they're still not closed yet but comment down below what you guys think rant down below let's talk to each other let's make it positive hopefully you guys have a fantastic black friday or the rest of your black friday um, hopefully you guys had a great Thanksgiving as well. I got fat. Um, hopefully you guys did too. And spend the rest of the weekend with your families. And we'll see you guys in the next video. So keep it real. Keep it safe. And as always, keep nerding on. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.